Hi everyone. Today we are going to explore an essential concept in .NET Core. How to write custom middleware. First we will see what is middleware. Then we will understand it with the help of a real world example. Middleware actually a key part of the .NET Core request pipeline. And writing custom middleware actually can help you handle specific tasks like logging, authentication or even modifying requests on responses. Middleware actually a piece of code in an application pipeline used to handle request and responses. It actually acts like a filter between a client's request and a server response. When a request is made to our application, it flows through a pipeline. Each middleware in this pipeline performs some operation on the request and pass the control to the next middleware in the pipeline and optionally handle the response. There are many built-in middleware in .NET Core. So we will talk about some built-in middleware here like authentication middleware which handle user authentication. Right? Then we have app.useRouting uh, which actually routes HTTP request to appropriate endpoints. Then we have app.useStaticFiles. It serves static files like images, CSS or JavaScript. We have exception handling middleware app dot use exception handler. It handles global exception and returns appropriate responses. Apart from this built in middleware, sometimes we have to create our custom middleware, which actually allows you to handle specific cross cutting concern like logging response modification or custom header. So next we will see how will we create our custom middleware. Let's open the wheel studio, create a new project. I create ASP.NET Core Web API project. I name it like custom middleware. Next create. Okay, so we are done with creating our default project. Let's create our custom middleware. So add a new class to your project. We call it request logging middleware. And this class will represent our custom middleware. Let's write code for our custom middleware. Let's understand the code for this custom middleware. First, we have private read only request delegate. Request delegate uh, actually a delegate that points to the next middleware in the pipeline. Right? The next middleware will process the request after the current middleware finishes its operation. Then the con constructor we have request delegate. The constructor accept the request delegate object which is injected automatically by the framework. It allows us to pass the request to the next middleware, right? Next, we have invoke async method. This method is the heart of your middleware. It is called for every HTTP request and HTTP context provides access to both the request and the response. We have added some uh, logging detail for our request. This will actually log the HTTP method like get post, put or delete and the request path. Now we will call the next middleware in the pipeline. This passes control to the next middleware in the pipeline. Without this, the pipeline is broken and no response will be sent back to the client. Here we are logging response detail. After the next middleware finishes, we log the response status code. Next, we have to register our middleware in the request pipeline. So let's do it. Uh, if we are using .NET 6 or later version, we will make this change. We will register this uh, middleware in program.cs. If you are using any version earlier than .NET 6, you have to make this change in startup.cs. So uh, let's register the our custom middleware. Uh, remember, middleware components are executed in the order they are added here. Let's run the code. So once it has been executed, it should log some information related to request method, request path and response status code in the output. So let's run it. We go to output and we see this information there, right? And let's enhance this middleware by logging request to a file instead of uh, the console, right? Uh, modify invoke async method. Okay, so now this middleware will log this information 
uh, inside this folder uh, in this file when we will run it it will create a logs folder and we we'll add a uh, request log file inside this folder with this log information so let's run it You see uh, the log folder has been added and uh, we see log information in the file uh, just for your information custom middleware can be used for authentication authorization i mean check user roles or tokens restrict excessive requests from client uh, log or format unhandled exception uh, dynamically set culture information for request right that's it for today so if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching